Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Dieter, this is Papa's Bar. Okay guys, uh, the whole last week I made uh, every single day a video and it was all about rum. I did a lot of rum videos uh, last week. I think it was, uh, yeah, exactly, six. Six rum videos. And today I'm going back to whiskey. And today I picked a Canadian whiskey. It's a budget whiskey, it's a $10 bottle. At $10.99 I think I paid for it. It's called Windsor Canadian. It's bottled at 40% ABV alcohol, 80% proof. And I do not, I don't know anything about it, so I just bought it on a hunch when I shop for other stuff. Um, it looks okay. I mean, it's a nice label on there. Uh, the gold uh, seal up here. Let me say what it says on the bottle. Windsor Canadian blended Canadian whiskey. Uh, a supreme smooth waters born in Canada. Oh, clear crystal, clear crystal clear Rocky Mountain water. Well, that's a good thing. Okay, then, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, my friends. It also says on here. I gotta read that to you guys. It's, that's pretty neat. Blended and distilled under strict supervision of the Canadian government. So, all right. I'm always uh, calm down. I'm always happy when I hear that the government is involved in anything. So, doesn't matter if it's the Canadian government or the US government. Yeah, under strict supervision of the Canadian government. Wow. It's got to be good then, right? Government can't do anything wrong. <laughs> you can't make that stuff up. All right, guys, I got, I want to show you that. I got a new glass. I got to come closer. There you go. Papa's bar. My daughter got this for me for my birthday, which is today, and I'm very happy about it. So, the first drink out of this glass is by the Canadian government supervision blended whiskey, Windsor Canadian. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. There you go. All right, uh, the age is about three years old for that whiskey, uh, matured in oak barrels. The color, well, I would say could be original or could be some coloring in there because uh, three years, uh, a whiskey really doesn't color that much. So, but it's okay. Food coloring is tasteless, odorless. It just makes the liquid look better. Okay, let's go to the north, my friends. The government whiskey. Uh. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I'm getting the smell of turpentine. That's not good. I get some oak, but oh, yeah, turpentine. Canadian government. Okay, my friends, I'm, I'm getting a turpentine smell, some oak, but that, that's about it, nothing else. Remember, it's imported for $10. So that's a tough horse to saddle to expect something good for $10 in whiskey. Vodka is some, it's a different story. You can, go, you can get uh, acceptable tasting vodka uh, for $10. Uh, I know for a fact now already, I know because of the nose, 
that this is not a neat drinker. This is probably a mixer, you know, mix it with whatever you like. <coughs> Whew, it, it, it's really strong. Man, I'm gonna poison myself on my birthday. <laughs> all right, my friends. Thanks for tuning in, first of all. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you watch any of my videos, I got uh, 120 up now, 120 videos. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Cheers for you guys. Canadian whiskey. Ah, man. Uh, wow. Uh, I gotta put that nicely. Uh, of course, you got the paint thinner turpentine taste. And then you get like a metal taste, copper or something like that. Like if you take some change, put it in your mouth, that sensation, that taste you get. Oh man. And a uh, floral taste, bitter taste. Like grass or something like that, you bite into it. It's not a, uh, it's not a pleasant taste. I do not like it. Sorry to say that. There are probably people out there that say, hey, what you say, it tastes so good. No, for me, it does not taste good. Uh, probably if you mix it with Coke or, I don't know what people mix whiskey with, uh, ginger ale. Yeah, that, 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 that would take away the taste, hopefully. But drinking neat, oh, oh this, Ah, and this is my, I haven't even had breakfast yet. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, it's, it's a disappointment. Now I got another bottle I got to give away. Do people come in your smooch? To mix it with Coke or something. Yeah, that, uh, <coughs> oh, oh, oh. It, it, it's really strong, the, t the, the smell. I got other whiskies here that they, they, they smell strong too, but it's, it, it's a nice smell, a wood smell, a peaty smell. Uh, uh, in rums, you, you get the brown sugar smell, the molasses smell, the, the sweet smell. Uh, 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 Irish whiskey, you get the butterscotch and the honey. Yeah, they, they are strong, but they're, they're uh, uh, Civil, they're acceptable. This is like going in your workshop in a garage, open paint cans and paint thinner and cleaning, rubbing alcohol, and then just put your head in it. You know, it, it's, ah, oh, I don't know what they did. Uh, man. It says, made with only premium grains and glacial born water. Probably paint thinner. Man, <coughs> no. I absolutely do not like that whiskey. Has nothing to do with Canadian whiskey in general because I got a couple here I like. But this one, I should have known better. $10. This probably gives you a stroke eventually. It's, oh man. <sighs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, go out, spend $10. It's not the word. And then it, review that yourself and then send me an email or a text and, and let me know. I, I mean, it's, it, it's pretty rough. It's a, no, oh. <laughs> it's a non-pleasant smell. It's not appealing. Uh, it could make you sick if you're, yeah, if you're really sensitive. And I am sensitive to smell and taste. Ah, 
I can't put it any better way as it's not good, not for me. I would never buy it again. I will not drink it again. But I'm gonna have another zip just to double check like I always do. I always drink my stuff twice for you guys. Zip it, review it twice. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Out of my brand new glass, Papa's Bar for my daughter, Elizabeth. I drank Canadian whiskey, supervised by the Canadian government. Yep, there you go. <laughs> she is my friend. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, man, no, absolutely. On a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the best, price included, you know, you get what you pay for and you get value for your money, but you don't get it here. At three, because I think you still can use it as a mixer, but I don't mix, so it's absolutely a non-neat drinker. It is not made to drink straight. This is mass produced for the market, the budget market, to have a cheap mixer, you know. And then even as a mixer, I think you're still gonna taste the turpentine, the paint thinner, the alcohol taste, rubbing alcohol taste, you're still gonna get this, even when you mix it. So I'm not impressed with it. I'm just gonna give it a three and, and that's gonna be it. Little disappointed, you know, but I got other Canadian whiskeys here, as, as you can see, and, and, and they weren't really that bad. They were simple, non-sophisticated, you know, very mellow. But this one is like a kick in the nuts, really. <laughs> no, that, that's not for me. Okay, my friends. Uh, that was my review for today about Windsor Canadian Whiskey, supervised by the Canadian government. And you know now what we got for that. Um, I'm gonna be back tomorrow with another video. I'm gonna do another whiskey, not a Canadian whiskey. I'm gonna uh, do a Scottish whiskey. Okay, until then my friends, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Tell your friends about the channel. I'm always here for the common man to review affordable, alcoholic beverages. Until then, I'm Dieter. This is Papa's Bar. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.